American Horror Story Apocalypse shows characters wearing these two types of hazmat suits, but would they actually be protected from radiation? Let's break it down. In the event of a nuclear apocalypse, as suggested by the show, the world would be covered in nuclear fallout, a miasma of radioactive dust and particles. There are three types of radioactive decay. Alpha, the largest particles that can be stopped by something as thin as a piece of paper. Beta, smaller particles that travel through paper-thin materials but are stopped by a thicker layer of aluminum. And the most dangerous, gamma particles. These particles are tough to stop, requiring something like a thick layer of lead. Being underground is a good way to avoid these particles as well. In the show, Timothy and Emily are given lightweight plastic suits. They're loose-fitting and sealed, designed for short exposure. They only need to walk from the transport vehicle to the shelter. Their suits would likely protect their skin and lungs from radioactive dust in the air. Simple, but theoretically effective for a quick trip. Though some radiation would penetrate their suits, it's not likely to cause lasting damage. Ms. Mead and the Fist, however, wear different suits and respirators. This style of suit would be better for longer exposure. They're seen completing longer and more frequent trips to the outside. Their suits would likely be heavy, lined with metals like lead to reduce exposure to radiation particles that can penetrate lighter materials. Just like the apron used when you get an x-ray at the doctor's office, their respirators would also filter out particles from the air, unlike the limited oxygen supply that fills the lighter suits. It turns out the costume department did their research. So next time the world ends, at least AHS gave you options. The set designers, though, they have some learning to do. This spray wouldn't do shit. See you next time.